Okay, so when a group grows to a massive amount as this group has, we see a lot of repeat questions. And there are some things that you can do, so it's likely that your question will not be declined. What you do when you are searching as the group has grown, I will show you. I want to learn a little bit about, let's say, the company uh, Minds Ed You. You go on the right hand side and you put that in and click. Now, anything that's been posted about the Minds Ed You will show up all questions, all answers, all information because it's been tagged many times. Another thing that is very valuable within a group to understand the functionality of it as well is, let's go back, hashtags. Hashtags are the number one topics uh, that the groups have posted. And as you can see here, we have many listed here. These are what most people have been talking about. If it's been Magic Ears, Zebra English, uh, Oka Academy, and you'll also find most of the topics here. We have Buddy Room, and so these are kind of like the, tag, the hashtags to what is most talked about. Then you have your discussion, and your discussion is what is discussed daily. Then we have Featured, which is usually pinned by the um, administrators right here. And then as you can go, we have rooms. This looks like a lot of fun and I'd love to open up the rooms and create them because you can actually invite uh, people to a room and have a chat with just a couple of members. Then again, we have our topic tags, which I just showed you. Those are the hashtags, the topics that have been pinned and they get pinned automatically when there's uh, so many things and you can also hashtag your own so when you so that more of them do get pinned when you do post something you should add a hashtag because then it'll be pinned here also if you want to search for a different member you can look at all the different members within the group that you might have something in common with then you also have our events that are coming up I have an event coming up this Thursday uh, at uh, 10 p.m. my time, which is much earlier your time. Then we have the media, which is anything that was done by media recently posted, as well as we have files. And a lot of people like to say files here, so you might find something useful for your class. Like we have props, we have stop signs, Google Docs, the ESL companies that was started. Thank you, Lori. Montes, I hope I say your name. We also have props and articles. So, you know, the group has so much that you can find on your own. It's almost like it's its own website. Uh, this tells you more about the group. And here are the rules that you should always go over. And when you are searching, here's the daily discussions. Just take advantage of these tools because they're here for you to help you. This way you don't have to ask so many questions and you can kind of learn how to move around in a group. So this doesn't just go for the ESL diversified group, but it also goes for any group on Facebook. So this is how to use the functions within a Facebook group. So again, if you're searching, do not search up here. You can search up here, but you'll come up with a lot more information. But to find a group, you just search right here. This is the friendly button. This is the search button. I hope that explains everything. Have a wonderful day. Bye.